Okay, good afternoon, uh, one and all. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizing committee of uh, the scientific uh, meetings of NAPCON for inviting me to deliver a session on uh, mesial chemical stem cell therapy for uh, ERDS. So, as you know, that stem cells are the cells that have uh, clonogenic and self renewing capabilities, which can differentiate into multiple cell lineages. These can be extrinsic or intrinsic in nature. The stem cells are undifferentiated cells, have ability for unlimited renewal, they have an infrequent proliferation and replenish the progenitor cells. So, where does this uh, the mesenchymal stem cells come from? So, it can come from extra embryonic tissues, it may be from the bone marrow or it may be from the periosteum. In case of extra embryonic uh, uh, from the tissues, extra embryonic tissues, during fetal development, these mesenchymal stem cells can be found in multiple fetal tissue sources, including chorionic villi, amniotic fluid, and also from the umbilical cord. In bone marrow, in immature marrow, osteoprogenitor cells in the periosteum form the putative mature bone marrow stromal cells, including the mesenchymal stem cells. In the mature bone, the osteogenic layer of periosteum contains osteoblast and mesenchymal stem cells. The cambium layer contains mesenchymal stem cells, fibroblast, and blood vessels. The fibrous layer which contains collagen fibers and fibroblast. So it is also it can also be recovered from adipose tissue. The white subcutaneous adult adipose tissue is also a source of adipose mesenchymal stem cells. And also from the tooth, the dental pulp of deciduous and per permanent teeth contains dental pulp stem cells that is mesenchymal stem cells. And also in pericytes, which sits on the wall of blood vessels, incorporated in various tissues, example bone marrow adipose, adipose tissue. Specialized pericytes, which are found on the small blood vessels and adventitial articular cells on the large blood vessels, are assumed to be the major source of mesenchymal stem cells throughout the human organs. So, as we discussed uh, in the previous slides, that uh, mesenchymal stem cells uh, can be recovered from any of these sources, and which acts as one of the, uh, you know, um, a source for the stem cell therapy. So here in this image, what we are seeing is embryonic versus adult stem cells. Here the embryonic stem cells come from the embryo and have a different characters than the adult stem cells. Embryonic stem cells can develop into almost any cell type and therefore may have a greater therapeutic potential compared to the adult stem cells. So if you see less specialized can be turned to be uh, can be turned out to totipotent stem cells, then pluripotent stem cells, multipotent stem cells, and more specialized cells. For example, if you are taking embryonic stem cell, it is from the zygote, early embryo, blastocyst stage embryo with pluripotent stem cells. From there, we can get a bone marrow stem cells, neural stem cells, mesenchymal stem cell, which which leads to the formation of blood vessels, which leads to the neural stem cell, which is the formation of cells of nervous system. And mesenchymal stem cells from the marrow leads to various tissues, particularly granulated tissues, bo bones, and cartilage. So these isolated pluripotent stem cells from the inner cell mass, they can be cultured. These cultured pluripotent embryonic stem cells is stored and used for research and for therapeutic medicine for various diseases. So highly specialized cells work together in the body. They are organized into tissues and organs. So that's why it works. Uh, the cord blood mesenchymal stem cells are the second largest population of uh, cord blood cells after hematopoietic stem cells that already we discussed. Uh, these mesenchymal stem cells are unique. They display an intermediate phenotype that resembles the human embryonic stem cell pluripotency. What are the properties of this mesenchymal stem cell? Why it is so important uh, that stem cell therapy is one of the fascinating area to do further research to you know, explore further areas for therapeutic uh, advancement in various diseases. This is because the multipotent progenitor cells have immunomodulated properties without host recipient matching. It has enhanced bacterial clearance. Uh, it, it helps in the resolution of inflammation. It helps in the restoration of capillary barrier function. It has a lower tumorogenic potential. Their secretome includes extracellular vesicles and soluble paracrine factors. And uh, the mesenchymal stem cell secretome, inclu including soluble components and encapsulated extracellular vesicles that mainly contributes to the immunologatory properties of mesenchymal stem cells. This includes immunomodulatory miRNA and proteins in the immune cells. They can phenotypically convert to immunosuppressive macrophages, tolerogenic uh, uh, dendritic cells, and also T regulatory cells. Both local and systemic administration of this mesenchymal stem cell exosomes 
efficiently can suppress the detrimental immune response in the inflamed tissues due to various diseases the mesenchymal stem cell exosomes express some of the important adhesion molecules such as 29 44 cd29 cd44 cd73 along with the common surface markers of exosome cd9 cd63 and cd81 along with heat shock proteins exosome biogenesis proteins annexins transcriptional proteins and so on so if you see here these are the mesenchymal stem cell this is exosome as i already described see the exosomes you can see the this this much of uh, you know uh, uh, adhesion molecules can be expressed uh, uh, from the uh, exosomes that's mra mirna proteins antigen presenting proteins heat shock proteins annexins growth factors like vegf igf and fgf cytokines chemokines all these things can be expressed from the exosome so this is an interesting slide like uh, this is the two scientists who got a nobel prize for their explanatory work in uh, uh, stem cell therapy that uh, dr shinya emanaka of japan and john gooden of britain honored for their work on cell programming uh, the gooden discovered the adult frog frog cell could be reprogrammed in 1962 and 2006 emanaka discovered how mice cells could be turned to their youthful state becoming a pluripotent stem cells this actually is a remarkable success in the research for uh, stem cell therapy so now we focus on how the stem cell therapy can be applied for uh, lung repair as you know that uh, lung injury uh, can occur in any conditions that can lead to the ards so in ards what happens is that alveoli gets injured you could have a, a inflammatory exudate you could have a, a damage to all the epithelial cells you could have epithelial cells including type 1 and type 2 epithelial cells and major damage would be for type 1 epithelial cells and there will be accumulation of exudate inside the alveoli which impairs the gas exchange that leads to the severe hypoxemia all these things can can happen uh, during the lung uh, lung injury in ards so how this mesenchymal stem therapy can help so it can do it to immunomodulation as we described earlier it can increase the intracellular communication it can increase the remodeling so how it uh, cause immunomodulation decrease the pro inflammatory factor levels increase the production of anti inflammatory factors increased anti mycelial peptide levels so it gives a check on inflammation host inflammation it gives a check for the proliferation of all the uh, 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 organisms including bacteria and other organisms it increases the phagocytic activity decreases the neutrophil influx decreases the apoptosis of cells macrophage reprogramming increases t cell uh, t regulatory cell expansion in addition to it it also reduces inflammation microbial clearance so for intracellular communication it leads to the mitochondrial transfer mrna and microrna transfer increased alveolar atp increased sodium potassium atpase activity because these are the uh, these are the pumps that are located in the alveoli alveolar epithelial cells so this gets potentially damaged and the pump won't work in case of ards so this leads to the accumulation of more amount of fluid in the alveoli that is the damage that occurs in ards so this missing chemical stem therapy can put a check on this restored by uh, alveolar bioenergetics and increased surfactant production in addition to immunomodulation and intracellular communication remodeling also uh, can be helped uh, with the help of stem cell therapy it reduces the pro fibrotic factor levels it increases the production of regenerative mediators increase alveolar fluid clearance decrease the level of fibrosis decrease the vascular permeability increased epithelial proliferation improve the tight junctions so that uh, that prevents the leaky alveoli that prevents uh, uh, you know uh, accumulation of more amount of fluid and inflammatory exudate into the alveoli that prevents a further injury to the alveoli that can improve the gas exchange so, so it helps in the uh, alveolar capillary barrier repair so all these factors can improve the survival rate in the patients with ards so the mechanism of mesenchymal stem therapy in ards there is a huge number of uh, mechanism that i have uh, described earlier the same thing is depicted in this image you could see this is the alveoli you could see it puts a check on alveolar fluid clearance it puts a check on repair of the alveolar epithelial cells it puts a check on uh, this proliferation of bacteria and other organisms by improve the phagocytosis it decreases the apoptosis because of this it improves the intracellular signaling all these things so finally it improves the integrity of the Uh, it improves the integrity, maintains the integrity of the alveoli. It improves the tight junction. All these things prevents the uh, further damage to the alveoli. Okay, this is an important paper that analyzes the uh, therapeutic efficacy of human uh, mesenchymal stromal cells in the repair of established ventilator-induced lung injury in the rat. It is an experimental ventilator lung injury that was studied in ra uh, rat, uh, which was published in Anesthesiology in the year 2015 by Merritt Hayes et al. So here you could see they have compared, uh, you know, they have created a, a environment for artificially 
uh, that induce the lung injury in the rats you could see based on the different high lung stretch and low lung stretch and also here also you could see high lung stretch they they analyze the arterial po2 levels and also ball protein level so here you could see the in in those uh, rats who received a mesenchymal stem cell therapy there is an improvement of arterial po2 there is a uh, reduced ball protein level you could see the ball protein indirectly shows that how much of inflammatory exudate is there so it reduces that so that helps that showed that uh, evidence that uh, the present, the mesenchymal stem therapy can herald the progression of ards in the patients who really uh, needs that and uh, this is also one more uh, original article at the on missing gum stem cells which enhances the survival and bacterial clearance in murine models of e coli pneumonia by navin gupta et al in the year uh, 2012 which was published in thorax here you could see uh, uh, this is the survival rate of this thing uh, they have compared the fibroblast missing gum stem cells and other therapies you could see the survival rate is much much better uh, in those patients uh, who received a missing gum stem cell so uh, this is a first uh, this, this is another phase one clinical trial that was published uh, in lancet uh, uh, respiratory medicine 2014 by jennifer g wilson et al uh, on the usage of stem cells that is mesenchymal stromal stem cells for the treatment of ards here you could see they have uh, used stem cells for almost like nine patients they classified these nine patients uh, into three groups first three patient they gave almost 1 million cells per kg of uh, 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 predicted body weight and second group four patient four to patient six they gave 5 million cells per kg of body weight and third group they gave 10 million cells per kg of body weight uh, so almost all the patients have significant pneumonia they have a different etiology one from some from pre eclampsia pneumonia aspiration pneumonia sepsis and all so they received a, a tidal volume around as per the ards net trail around roughly around like 5 to 6 like that 6 ml per kg plateau pressure they maintained peep also almost like 10 to 14 8 to 8 to 10 10 to 14 they gave and po2 fao2 ratio also that is the one of the you know important predictor for uh, you know the progression or uh, severity of ards you could see almost all the patients the po2 fao2 ratio is almost less like there are some patients which are above 150 there are many patients which is almost like 100 150 most of them have less than 200 so here in lung injury score also in old days they used to do lung injury scores which was famous in old days now we are not doing Uh, lung injury score and all we are uh, having other uh, uh, clinical parameters to predict the uh, progression of ards here also you could see the, the these patient have a different lung injury scores so what i mean to say is that they group the patient with a different grade of severity so some patient have a more lung injury some patient like less lung injury and they group the patient and they gave uh, stem cells pay, uh, you know 1 million 5 million 10 million so what they observed is that you know there is a improved survival benefits and uh, you know there is a um, uh, reduced uh, you know uh, uh, days in the ventilator free day, uh, reduced days uh, icu stay days and uh, uh, ventilator free days also improved with the stem cell ther uh, therapy for the treatment of ards that was in the phase 1 clinical trial so you you could see in this same slide like uh, uh, that was depicted here you could see the duration of mechanical ventilation in days how much it was reduced based on the stem cell therapy ventilator free days up to day 28 so you could see here low dose those who received intermittent dose those who high dose that can be depicted oxygen index how it improved duration of vasopressor use also how it has reduced and intense intensive care unit free days also it has been depicted so ultimately it has shown a promising results after using the uh, this therapy for this uh, for ards patients so the so these are the different clinical trials that was done till now uh, on mesenchymal stem therapy stem cell therapy for ards so these are the two recent trials actually in 2020 bing et al and leng et al they have started a trial on covid 19 itself okay so they have, uh, they used uh, this mesenchymal hcc mesenchymal stem cells unknown human mesenchymal stem cells are the major sources so they both are clinical studies only they are not animal studies the what are the findings the transplantation of hcc mcc was well tolerated and promoted to recover a patient who is 65 year old female critically ill patient that is a covid 19 patient the same way they have used in different settings for example in the same 2020 also we have got uh, uh, once again the uh, clinical study on uh, mesenchymal stem therapy in patient with ards uh, induced by h7n9 virus by shen et al and other studies uh, way back in 2014 15 19 and all all these studies have included ards 
and they found that that the uh, you know the all the studies showed uh, better response with the mesenchymal stem cell therapy it was well tolerated and uh, without any um, uh, without any adverse effects it also showed improvement in the oxygenation index and ard is induced by lps also they have studied uh, they have studied in animals the so first uh, few st first uh, first almost like six to seven studies clinical studies on humans and uh, further studies are done on the animals so root of and how we can give this uh, the mesenchymal stem cell it can be given by intratracheal intravenous or intraperitoneal however in an x ray view model of ards mesenchymal stem cells adhere to the membrane oxygenated fibers during ecmo resulting in significant reduction of flow through the circuit hence intratracheal administration may be optional for this clinical situations so what are the challenges that we are what we are facing in a mesenchymal stem cell therapy is that the fda uh, center for biological evaluation research regulates the human cell based products intended for implantation transplantation infusion and transfer to human recipient including hematopoietic stem cells the donor and source selection ards may affect the immunomolecular effects of bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells and impairs their potential use for autologous transplantation the optimal source and the dose route and frequency whether we need to give a single regimen or multiple regimens because most of the trials they have studied some of the they have done in 2020 on covid and other um, viral uh, pneumonias some they have done on lps that is a lipopolysaccharide uh, you know antigen uh, based uh, damage so we don't know exactly that uh, which group of patient exactly we should select and uh, what is the optimal source of this mesenchymal stem cells how much do we have to give whether we need to repeat the dose uh, whether we have to give single regimen multiple regimen all these things has to be established in future studies fresh cells are cryo preserved cells to be uh, preferred and the cost for the production of large scale exosomes for the mesenchymal stem cells also need to be uh, kept in mind and the potential for adverse effects of stem cells it can lead to the fibrosis it can lead to the malignancy that also has to be considered even though uh, it is less uh, tumorogenic uh, property is there for uh, uh, transferred mesenchymal stem cell but definitely risk of malignancy is also there so you have to consider that also so in summary Uh, the immunomodulatory anti apoptotic effects of mesenchymal stem cells are beneficial in the treatment of ERDs the mesenchymal stem cell once again can promote epithelial endothelial recovery and promote microbial alveolar fluid clearance the mesenchymal stem cell treatment can or may decrease the progression of patient with ERDs with multiple organ failure based on the various clinical trials the clinical trials they have done on few patients the main problem with that like number of patients they have taken the trial is also very less and uh, uh, number of trials also when compared to other uh, other clinical studies also less we need to have a more number of clinical trials more number of studies to ascertain how much of dose what is the exact route and whether we have to select which group of patient we have to select what is the exact source which gives the maximum success rate all this thing has to be determined in future hence mesenchymal stem cells can be considered as a potential alternative strategy for management of patient with ards like in other diseases thank you thank you one and all